everybody i hope you're doing well so today we are going to talk about oops and the interesting thing is i'm not going to talk i have charanjit singh choudhary who is going to answer all the queries that one have every time in their mind when they think about oops whether they have you know 15 years of experience or whether they are about to start their career okay so with this so you know what i have multiple questions that i have already planned that i'm going to throw on him i'm also going to ask couple of questions on the sport okay so let's start so first of all thank you so much charanjit for joining me today thank you so much praveen for inviting me on this platform really appreciate the kind of work you are doing i really appreciate the i saw your videos looks great thank you thank you so much charan okay so yeah. charan you know uh, as you know our topic is particular to oops so let me you know take a real life scenario that when i looked in the market the in the in the software industry i have seen people who have great experience and when we talk about oops with them i have always see most of the time seen that they start talking about encapsulation abstraction you know all those pillars of oops but i have never seen you know people talking about how oops is born why you know we have to brought oops concept in the world in the programming world right so all those things so what's are your take on that what's your thought on that uh first of all praveen really uh, like this topic cuz uh, oops is very important for us right. for a programmer so basically if you talk about the oops before that you need to understand why uh, you know the concept of uh, oops came in the market before that what exactly we have I will not go uh, further back uh, uh, like very much deep but quickly uh, you know I just want to sure, let you yeah. know like uh, before the oops we have the procedure programming model right yep right if you compare oops and procedural programming model both you will come to know why oops or the concept of oops come in the market how if you look at the technology every technology came in the uh, existence because somebody feel like there is some limitation of something which he is actually using right now right, right? when somebody when uh, the programmer programmer was using a procedural uh, programming model they found like uh, they are simply writing the statements thousand of statements right yep so those thousands so thousand of statements writing count give a confidence like he can manage more than 10000 code because it is very difficult for a programmer to manage the code right you have multiple functions okay you can call function multiple times you have many statements you are writing again and again suppose you have very complex uh, things to do very complex module or feature in that complexity need you know separately to explain right and you were trying you were trying to do in that in the procedural programming model that is very complicated so you are saying the a, kind of and, application this world is dealing 21st century that we are dealing you know in 2023 or 2022 from last you know 5 to 10 years those applications become very complex right and the pace of delivery the expectation from all those application from performance perspective right that is the most important thing for sure you know security is also so these are the kind of parameters that you know we decided to move from procedural to oops languages there are a lot more things okay see like i have 10 12 bots right we want to work on a we all have something to do right and we are writing procedural programming model mm -hmm. one one is writing one is on uh, 101 line another will wait his code right so there is a problem right there is a problem so writing code with multiple developer is very difficult in case of procedural programming model okay and that is one of the aspect there are many other things suppose uh, let's take a real life example right let's take a school right they have teachers there mm -hmm. and salaried salaried salaries to pay them so you have a accounting department you have a 
you know buses so that is a different thing like mm-hmm. in terms of management you have students and uh, you have uh, teachers and you have many a lot of things are there you know right. so a programmer try to divide all those in the modules right and tomorrow if they come up like we need to do something more in that mm-hmm. case uh, it is easy if things are divided separately and managed right okay. but in procedural programming model you are writing one after another line by line which is very difficult to manage in big projects got you right? so that is why very difficult to, to manage got it. so that is why we management to... is one of the got it got yes. it managing okay. management is one of the thing another thing is the security because financial department you want to more secure you you don't have a protection level there oh in the process we don't thing. have production level and when you say production level that means those access modifiers private public right all correct. those things okay correct correct you don't have access modifier you don't have layers of managing the security the way you can do right now and that right? okay if yes so you are exposing your functionality which is a biggest security leak in case of a procedural programming okay so another thing you can't in, in encapsulate things right you can't uh, inherit uh, reusability is not that much there you have functions only there is something can be used. called yeah so when you talk about reusability you know uh, uh, there is you know very famous word that people the most programmer i have seen here using that is you know dry principle right do not repeat mm-hmm. yourself so is that the same thing that reusability thing uh reusability there you have re- reusability but that is not up to the mark now you want to deal with the modules in simple language you can say separate modules right you can say blocks in case of visual programming model it is very difficult for a user uh, to create a blocks blocks in the sense in c sharp you can say classes it is encapsulating each and every functionality of that particular module if i am saying finance here you can create a class you can say finance class a accounting class it will take care everything inside that class it means you have a uh, you can say your data there your operations there simply people uh, uh, microsoft saying is a data members uh, you know methods are there so here class basically encapsulating all those things but that is not done inside the procedural programming model that now everything in, in the way of classes it means you are dealing with the object when you are dealing with the object you can say your whole programming is dealing with the oops okay right uh, object it means it's a object oriented now there is nothing in your code which can tell i am separate from the class everything wrap inside a class when whole lot of things you wrote inside a project everything is you know wrap through a class and everything is accessed through a object it means you are dealing with the object you are you know performing all the uh, operations through object it means this programming is a object oriented okay so right? everything is now so this is that object right without object i can't exactly exactly because you have the object now so basically this oops concept the first character build on that thing that you know object now i'm saying oops programming that means whatever code i am going to write everything is going to be accessed by object only if i am following that that is object oriented if not then that it's not object oriented this is what we we are trying to say yeah, okay yes for sure uh, you know uh because uh, now everything is uh, uh, wrapped through class everything can access through object you can't say it's uh, something else it will called as a object oriented got it right? okay got it so you know my other question uh charan that you know i have do you think a programmer who don't understand object oriented concept that oops concept in today modern programming language are they still programmer uh, can they write a good code can they learn you know th- those design patterns those architecture thing or you know this is the base if they don't understand thing core they 
will lack somewhere even if you know they learn all those you know the structure of the uh, structure of the design pattern the structure of the architecture still they will you know lack somewhere they will stuck somewhere do you really think that okay uh, as a prog- programmer right now what microsoft is doing they are giving everything to you yeah they giving the shortcuts if you want to create the class you don't need to even know the structure simple put some commands it will create a class right. it will create a even method you know that create the whole skeleton right? they are giving us just say i need the yes. atom project you have everything ready exactly so they are giving so many things means they developer are doing everything they need to know everything we just have right. to write business logic they, <laughs> but the people who start doing uh, simple like programming normal things they simply just read their uh, instructions what are the commands we need to uh, you know follow we follow those and things start happening but when you are uh, slowly slowly growing and reaching up to a level there exactly you need to you know you can say architect level or somewhere else they are exactly you know to make some decisions of like uh, the performance the memory right the kind of things you start thinking and at that moment you know to start thinking on the basic thing as well like oops for exactly there you start understanding oh i missed something really important which i need to understand like that's how you know initially we don't realize this but going forward uh, when we are uh, at some level there we need to see all those things those are very important right, right. but uh, one should was... focus on the basics right this oops and you know what do you suggest if i have to learn oops right i have to deal with that oops from where should i start should i really start you know that dot net java and you know i can start implementing those classes yeah. or objects or you know there is think... one base language that i should you know start learning that uh, before okay uh i think going back if you are a c sharp programmer if you are intermediate i'm not saying the beginner mm-hmm. you already started on something like c sharp or any other try to follow from there right but like if you are beginner i suggest you to go for c first okay then go for c plus plus so you are saying understand procedural and then understand oops then you will understand the oops. difference because in c++ you are doing everything by yourself right suppose you want to create a constructor of a class you are creating constructor there if you want to destruct it you are creating the destructor there so in uh, uh, you know c++ you are doing everything by yourself right and there is That's no framework to you know help me right there is no framework to yes. say me hey go and you know just put this command i will do everything for you you have to do exactly. everything by yourself and then when you work on yes. these languages you have no you know you know what is happening behind the scene when you are writing the code yes right yep great okay. that's all great so my next question charan for you is okay so do you think that if i understand the concept of oops would it be quick very quick that you know i can switch from one language to other for example if i am a c sharp developer can i switch to java or maybe vice versa or any other you know i wanted to switch to python is it going to help me those concepts or you know every language have their own oops concept so switching from one language to another even if you know the oops concept you know you know uh, it will help you to understand that language right. so Because this inheritance is, you know all those those pillars are going to be same that is why you know oops is not exactly. language specific very language oops is a concept similar to solid principle yes. right solid principle is a concept uh, right 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 yep uh, right 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 so th- it's it's a concept like so switching is uh, you know if you want to switch yeah it will help you just have but to learn syntax there is no doubt for it. sure you know the framework that i'm going to work but concept is exactly. always going exactly. to you know quickly onboard me on that particular language exactly exactly okay. this is how it will great okay so charan you know you have answered all the things very sharply and i hope you know our viewers who are watching this they will understand you know how oops was born and why we need to switch to oops and if they can switch to you know different language if they understand the oops and what the key role okay so you know one thing that we missed uh, in this conversation that i think you know at least developer should know little history not you know that detail history because our memory you know will go blur with time so uh, you know we would like to you know ask you 
the little history that when this oops was born and you know who was the first person that he or she named that you know this is oops and what language that he injected first time for the oops exactly if you talk about the uh, person who uh, you know introduced these concept of oops there was a man alan k mm-hmm. uh he was basically a uh, trying trying to deal with the real life scenarios so he want to actually simulate the real time scenarios in a programming world that's okay. why he has given a name similar to his first language oh okay so if you yeah so he basically trying to implement all those concepts like uh, the oops concept there and this is how i can uh, like manage the things so you know uh, this is kind of a base for today's c++ you can say but yes those efforts should be appreciated we really. should thanks to that you know k if i remember the right name you know he, he was mr k yes yes alan alan k alan yes. k yeah you're right so alan k yeah. that he made our life easy we are introducing that oops concept right that is why we are able to write exactly. that much complicated projects we are right able, able to write you know different design pattern different architecture in today world exactly right okay perfect okay okay so thank you so much charan for joining us today and you know in future also we will talk with you with different concepts that you know people always stuck with thank you so much okay guys so that's all for today video i will see you in the next video